Hello, and we're back in Final Fantasy, now in a cocoon proper. Like a big tube, is that like a transport tube? Probably. Yeah. It looks like, actually the architecture is very, very good here. It's cool. But uh, we should continue, because we're on the, um, the trial of Bartandalus. <sighs> Let's go. What's pretty up to? Yeah, you want to continue down this sort of left-ish most side? Do you want can. to fight these guys, or...? They're all kind of the generic Pulse guys. So I've probably fought them before, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Those are on the bridge, in fact. So that's interesting, because we're doing all of our damage after it's de-shelled. But we're still taking it down quick enough, so yeah, obviously we're doing somewhere, right? You know. That's fine, yeah. Whoosh. Yes, if you try and stay to the leftmost side of the path. Can I get through on the left side? Is it not blocked at any point? Well, you want to go forward here. So I just realised I can look down. Yeah, yeah, you're like actually quite above the city, as it were. It is just a big metropolis, isn't it? I think this is just sort of supposed to be part of the transport network that we're on. Oh, is that the um, Falsy up there, all hidden? I think it might be. Yeah. It sort of popped just here. Anyway, so we want to ignore this little false turn that does nothing and go right. Oh, you've, you've gone past it. Okay. Have I? Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to show you here. It's yeah. okay. But when you go back, you should just be able to turn right around. You're all, You're all poisoned, yeah. But yeah, they're getting taken care of quite quickly. Yeah, so you've just gone past this bit here. Yeah, I see it. So you want to go left. Get out of the way of a deal. Maybe follow the end. And then you can just go back down that route that you want, because next you want to go into this big egg bit. Oh. In fact, you know how we didn't have one of those weapons in the shop? We've just literally picked them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why there's, there's not much point looking at the shop now. I'm going to kill this because it looks like I'm supposed to. It looks like it. And then I'll direct you from the, the eggy weggy. And I haven't attacked it before. Oh, Walker. It's got to keep on walking. Maybe it's Chocobo related somehow. <laughs> it could be, I guess. Yeah, D-shell, that's what you want. Yes, the Neil's sort of, well, she's in a saboteur or she's concentrating on saboteuring rather than having a synergist by default. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try disaster. Oh, disastrous. It went surprisingly well. <laughs> disastrous for them. All oh, right, well, that works, yeah. <laughs> I like those sort of rings with the plumes on them. I wonder if they are supposed to be sort of chuckable, like the yellow ones. Mmm, dubious, but okay. I'm just thinking, like, a maybe? Just another battle. Eight. Yeah, so in this big ring, you take the center route up rather than the left one, and then you hang a right here. Ignore the first cut off curve and go down the second one here. You've just ran past the second one. You can go down the third one instead. So here. And then take the first right. Or... Don't I want yeah. the ball? Oh, yeah. Well, it kind of doesn't look like it. Or is that the right spot? And I'm just looking at it upside down compared to you. Yeah. Then you can go back to the ring. You can also get rid of the radar. No, no, it's fine. The radar is useful. Makes it easier for the um, encoder. And we're just going to the top left corner of the map, as it were. There's a thing. Yeah, that's blocking your path. Ah, but... oh, buttresses. Well, you can see where you want to go now with the uh, yellow circle with the line in it. There's no more orbs in this area. We pick the two of them up because we're trying to also make sure we get. We're trying to also make sure we get absolutely every item. That looks cool. I'm getting closer to the devastation over there. It's like the way the stuff going on in the background, like look, 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 I see the sea flying around. Where the sea? It makes um, it a bit less obvious to just see that it's like a picture, really. Yeah. Uh, OK. 
Okay, I don't know about this. If only we could fly. We can jump. Huh? What are you? Nothing to it! See you ground side. Wait a minute. You're all crazy. Don't want to get left behind, do you? <laughs> Just remember, don't drop the gizmo. Bang! Oh. This thing? gets around. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Actually, I like how Lightning was just like, I'm going to get rid of everyone while you're not even going to get up yet and I've gotten rid of everyone. Mm. Do all of the work. Like and Vanille that. doing her she's beauty and she's grace <laughs> thing. And she lands on her butt. And yes, I quite like that it's like all of the, the cocoonians are going like, yeah, we we'll just jump off, we'll just do it. And the polystyrenes are like, what are you doing? Also, it isn't just how like it's how crazy people get around. <laughs> it's just she happens to be crazy. He's only one as well. Only value. Yeah, she yeah, they're so sort of just the um, the soldier type from the the sanct. Oh, no, it's it's the cult. It's just it's the soldiers in general, both. But we are on the skywalk, which is just pretty. It's just a line. You go down the line. There's not even any orbs in this whole place. Well, the cult is criticism of Final Fantasy XIII, and uh, it, it's 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 a good criticism. Fat it is too linear. Yeah, it is a bit linear. Target to target. Oh dear. Lightning, now he died there. Yeah, she's fine. Time to end it. Ooh, special ability. Have I used it before? I don't know. I like how, like, um, <laughs> Snow is in the background still trying to attack him as well. <laughs> like, stop getting in the way. There you go. I don't even know what they're really for. I think it's like for building up um, massive uh, chains. I think so, yeah, because you just keep hitting them. I like the way they're like, all hiding and stuff there. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So these are core defender, very low HP, cannon fodder, and core stewards if you've seen any of those. I'm fighting one right now. Yeah, and they have ice and water damage this half, but suffers a weakness to fire. I think I kept that alive far longer than I needed to by army of warning it. <laughs> Let's do it again. And yes, you can tell that you don't know the information about it because they're not using fire, they're going through all of the elements. I think it's another instance where you compare lightning to cloud. It's a bit like his, uh, is it Omni Slash? I suppose it is, yes. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. I was wondering what you were talking about, and that's it. <laughs> Mm. Just keep going. Actually, it's very do sex the, with the, the lights and the triangles and the. Such mm. as me. Not a little. 
And these are Adamantoron. Adamantoron, which are Canvas Store, Haste and Bravery. Or, um, I believe, uh, following the naming convention we established earlier, Adamant Herons. Well, add a man Theron. But that doesn't follow the thing, because. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, Adam and Heron. They're Adam we had and pant, Herons. Pant Herons, we had yeah, earlier on. The pant. <laughs> I think they look like they're attacking each other. They're not. It's just the way they're facing, weirdly, yeah. Well, I'm not convinced this is a very effective paradigm after a while. Maybe these no, particular it'll be like, um, the, also having a synergist after a while you'll want to swap. Just do an aggressive one, yeah. Just I thought I'd use the party it gave me, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like, because there must have been some reason that they went and used to be these guys. It's like, did they record the most voice acting for them three to be talking? Cavalry, stand down! Eden's under our jurisdiction. It's a nice little detail there. They're showing infighting between them. Or am I not getting what Dory was getting at? No, I think that, that was it. Is that yeah. there, there was a bit of a panic and a bit of a, a fallout of um... So there's a uh, sank and south and still bravery. That's all the notes I've got here. Oh, they have, they have poisonable. You see that very often. Ah, that's why it's, it's fairly pointless because they can just um, keep it. boosting themselves. Oh, right, right. What are you trying to say? Well, I was, I was getting to it, you know. Yeah, so it's like, oh, I don't know if it's just that. Oh, there's a bomb behind you, by the way. Uh, because these are the characters that are usually leading the. Yes. Yeah, you're leading the cutscenes that they thought it would make the most sense for you to be them. I, I might have screwed that up because I didn't go to oh, diversity. Dear. Oh no, I'm fine. Yeah, I don't think you need to. So also, you have five three three in case of emergency. You don't need it anytime soon. Thanks. Yeah, sooner now. Can't, can you? Hmm. Army of one, army of one. If that's no kept trying to get in on that army of one action. He it, does kept trying. It, it doesn't say army of two. Or even army of three. <laughs> also, it has like a weird tail, the bulwalker. Maybe it's like a counterbalance thing. Oh, coming from the back of its head. Yeah. It's hard to really see it. Yeah. It should work a bit once it's staggered. Chubba Marva. I think you are going to... Hmm? I'm just looking around. Yeah. Mostly because the um, the change in scenery is very uh, mm. dramatic. It's all very glowy as well. It's also doing the thing of you've, you've come back late in the late game in Cocoon, which is why it's evening. Yeah, yeah. yeah sort of a sunset thing. Same as at the beginning of the game, I think it was, was it night? And then it was morning, and then that was, so it was like the prequel and yeah, then the start yeah, of the, the game. Yeah, the standard thing where you go through the day.
So the cavalry's here to, uh... They're here for Orphan. If it's close to the Falci Eden, they're probably headed for the heart of the Sanctum. Right. And if they destroy it, bad things are gonna happen. So long, Cocoon. Then we better get there before they do. Damn yeah. straight. Uh-oh. Let's move! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Oh. Oh yeah. I think it's just a behemoth. No, no, behemoth king. I do like in like all of the cutscenes, Lightning knows what she's doing and can like flip over things and do stuff and everyone else is just crap. <laughs> <laughs> but then she's the only one who's trained as anything. But yes, and this is Behemoth King. Each be gorge was sword when it moves to an upright posture, which is pretty standard for the behemoths. So you've got a bit of a long slug to get him and then he'll stand up and you have another bit of a slug. Seeing if I can get stagger gauge up high enough it doesn't actually happen. So, I don't know whether it would, it would have been worth saboteuring and still the long. I did. Well, oh, only more than I did. Perhaps. Hell. Not that kind of hell. Then. No, no, he isn't going shopping. <laughs> oh, the other kind of hell. I can't think of another kind of hell. You might be for, for, Well, no, I can't think of that kind. I was trying to think of another one for the sake of the joke, but it kind of didn't work. Yeah. Well, and that didn't work. Hurling is in the sense that it actually means it's just throwing something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's. Now we got him staggered again. Oh, he's not. You can do it. Actually, I'm surprised it's not staggered already. You must have um, quite a resistance. 650, yeah. In fact, I think he might die before we stagger him. Yeah, I think so. he might. Actually, yeah, there you go, he's dead. Just before you got him. Whoosh. Five star raving though. Oh yeah. Not that many CP in the end, really. No. We've discussed that before. We're never gonna make it. Uh... Not with an attitude like that, we won't. Not for the first time, Zaz thought. Dying a fire video. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, again, it's just another straight run. We had to fight those Oberons in front of us. Those people, though. Yeah. Please don't let me down. I'm not going to let you down. Okay. So it's supposed to be a terrifying thing if you get stuck on like a, a motorway. Like, there's no way you can go. Mm. Not one suspended above the city, certainly. Even like the ones that are just in the middle of nowhere, but are these the ones that spawn more? No, I don't no. think so. But they do look sad. I've fought them before, they run... well, a lot of these enemies yeah, are supposed to be Pulse. coming from Pulse, yeah. So we'll just deal with these guys. And yes, we've mentioned before that uh, some enemies just really aren't worth fighting for the CP you get, for the amount of time it takes. Mm. Sort of if you worked out a CP per, um, you know, per minute. CPM. Or CPPM. <laughs> CP3? No. There we go. We can um, sab these quite a bit. Not sure if I should or if I should just switch to um, Relentless Assault. Looks like they're susceptible to fire, which makes sense. They look like a fish. Well, they're susceptible to everything because they're cursed. But, yeah. Okay, I'm mean, uh, over on power splits with the over on status enhancements. Hmm. Sorry, gives them what? Status enhancements. Oh. 
we go. Let's land that one. You sure there's no orbs inside? Oh, there are. It's just that you can't miss them. There's no alternate routes like the first bit when we were on the Grand Prix circuit. It's just... There's more of them. Keep a cool head. We'll try this just to see if it's quicker. Admittedly, you've got a lot more um, ones for fighting crowds rather than individuals now. I think. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing damage to all of them rather than just the individual one. Oberon D. Oraban. Oraban. Sans in a cocoon, so I'm really interesting to translate them. I'm not sure if it's like, is it just gibberish or did they actually make the time to make it say like stuff? I think it all stays say stuff. I mean, you can kind of sort of read it if you squint because it's so similar to English. Yeah, it's, it looks the same. It's more sort of disguised English than, than anything else. Like those dumb memes where it goes like, We've taken out all of the barrels. Can you still read it? If you read this, smart you brain. are. Yeah. It's like, no, anyone pretty much can read it because you can read it. What's, what's the sign of a smart brain? Even me. <laughs> you know what I mean, but it's like the 70% won't even notice or something. Like when I see most people won't reblog this, and then I think, and neither will I. Oh, <laughs> I was going to try and avoid it. I uh, think this is a set you possibly don't want to avoid. Why? Well, these are all things I thought before. He's an orb. I think it's this one here. This oh, is... I might need to destroy them together. Yeah, yeah. Right. There are two orbs in this. It's called the Expressway. Or Expressway, depending on how you say it. <laughs> if you say it right, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, and there's two orbs. And they both contain weapons. So we, because we, we have a list of what treasure is as well. And it's weapon, weapon, weapon. So we are getting the high level weapons from here. We already have a Lionheart, don't we? Yeah, we picked that one up. That was the first one. We oh, that up. was a different map. Right. That's why you went, like, and you just got it in the shelf, and now we can get it. Yeah, I remember that. It was, like, not that long ago. <laughs> you asked for it. Here we go! Actually, the power spritzes does make them really quite obnoxiously powerful. Hmm. I think we're doing the very sensible strategy here to get rid of the little ones, ignore the big guy, because if you focus on the big guy, you don't need to stand up anyway. Mm. So Vanille is, actually everyone's a bit struggling, but you have TP. So if I need to wipe. <laughs> Can't stick. It's just you like said it. Don't make a for your mm mm joke. For wiping your mm mm. <laughs> I don't know if you want to have that in a video. Well, not the actual act, so I probably don't have that in a video. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Last Orban. No, there's another one over there. He's just off the edge of the screen. Oh, yeah. Instead of having it off with Benio. Sorry? <laughs> Actually, he's very buff. You might want to swap to the side for a bit. It doesn't really help because they can cast it so readily. And it's so actually quite nice. hard to get off them. It's not like a sure thing. So I'd rather have it in the air. Oh, he's just about dead anyway. Oh. What kind of hell would a Beamoth King do? Let's see what I can 
get on it in terms of statuses. It seems quite resist resilient to um, being saboteured. Oh, those are good. I'm not going to she's going to do anymore, and those are going to go away. So let's leave it on, and then at least I know which ones she's actually capable of. Hmm. <laughs> it's a very cool design. The shame the enemy is so annoying. <laughs> they have like tattoos. Buff, buff, oh, debuff, rather, debuff. Like I say, it is really resistant. Hmm. There's another. Also, it's like, I think it has nipple piercings? Maybe? Okay, yeah. Is there an orb around here? You usually hear them. Like, if you bring up your map, I can see how far along the curve you are. Oh, Just hitting you're, the curve. You're, you're now, it's like, yeah. I possibly didn't need to fight them then. And since That's I fought okay. each of the individuals within that, that would have been then... Um, this should be. Probably better to skip, but never mind. The Rebel Heart, I believe. Yeah, which is another weapon. Mm, well, in the Midnight Hour. She cries more, more, more. <laughs> And the next one is until the very end, so you shouldn't have to uh, look around for them. There's more people. Yeah, so you can sort of stand next to them and get some of their speech. Look out, look out for what? Take a look at that. Is it outside maybe you should refer to? I'm not sure. Or is this something I'm not going to see until it happens? Maybe not. Pulse finally attacked. They pretend they're not. Yeah, this is all the, the machinations of pretend was cool. Yeah. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Look out. Eek. <laughs> there we go, I haven't quite caught up yet. So this should be... I think Vanille is really a man of the, man of the people in terms of speech. <laughs> she says what we're all thinking. Amphis Boone. Oh my god, it's got B in the name. Uh, immune to earth damage, but weak against lightning and wind, resistant to magic, high HP, and assorted mm. stasis immunities. I suppose that having the guy to tell you that it's, um, you know, what it is immune to is because you could go through and actually tell them what to do. If you were lame. He seems to be doing very well anyway. Wide open. Oh yeah. Five stars, very nice, very nice. He's sorted. Oh, that's why I couldn't move any further. Yeah, it's sort of the path is a bit weird and broken and debris. You can sort of look down through there, I think. Mm, sort of. A little, but yeah. Alright then. Attention all This enemy feels a little beneath what we should really be encountering. But I suppose it still has potential with it being able to strengthen itself, that if you're not careful, it can be more dangerous than it needs to be. War crime, that's what it keeps doing. There we go. Yeah. 
There's, there's a gap there to our left. It looks really pretty. I, yeah, like... Oh, just... Right. Oh, of course, we're on Pulse. Yeah, yeah, that's, you Thanks. can see the continents, as it were. <laughs> the opposite of where we are. Oh, yeah, we're on Cocoon. <laughs> um, so you can see land above you and strange things like that, because yeah. that'll be the other side of the uh, vast moon-sized sphere. I think the idea is, is that you're not actually in that big a structure. Mm. So, yeah, you can see the other side of it. I mean, it's huge, but compared to Pulse, yeah, it like isn't. compared to a whole planet. In fact, I, I, I wonder how big it's actually supposed to be. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not as big as our moon, because our moon's like, what, like one-third the size of Earth or something crazy like that. It just makes sense somewhere, and we'd have to try and find a range. But it, it's fairly vast, and obviously, I, I don't know, if, if you were inside the moon, and it was hollow, would you be able to see the other side? <laughs> I have no idea. Or would it be lost in atmospheric haze? Mm. You know. I did think that, so the glowy blue dogs, you can skip these guys. They are the ones from the Gapra White Road, because they're working with the core. Mm. Ah, but there isn't all over there to our left. Oh, you're just having a look at them. I didn't know I could jump up here. I saw a blue glowy thing, I went for it. Whoa! Hello, Vanille. How are you? <laughs> Thought I was supposed to be the jumpy around one. Sorry, there is an orb, is there? It's over there, yeah. Whee! And this should be the one that I can't see. Ah, oh, there's another beer map. It's a different type as well. This is actually a proto beer moth, which means it's a cocoonian beer moth. Uh, fire and lightning damage have, but weak against ice and water. Can change its form, regenerating HP and increasing attack power when it does so. Pretty much just like a DMR. Yeah. Gonna kill it before it can uh, actually change. That's nice. Mm. And all I had to do was try disaster. We want to get the orb. Which be the last weapon on this thing, which has a funny name, and then no, not even it would and be it. Uh, good to leave it here. Well, hang on. Did we get a new show? No, we didn't. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, we can leave it here. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.